so it's pretty late at night now and I don't know if you guys can hear that but there's like generators on this truck's driving around there's a guy chopping up wood with a chainsaw I mean seriously guys <laughs> seriously I'm not sure these guys are coming here to appreciate the nature currently 8 a.m. and the generators are still going in fact another one came and set up a generator even later so there was like two generators going on and then people started chopping wood next to us about half an hour ago so we thought all right it's probably time to get up and make a coffee the mattress is so comfortable and our new tent is so comfortable. I can stay in here really forever. But I'm tired. I'm very, very tired as well. Anyway, I could get Oli to make me some coffee, which is nice. <laughs> and also we're crossing into Canada today. Yes! Super exciting. Oh, what's he looking for? Everything. <laughs> I don't know where anything is. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 413 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. Morning Bumblebee. Good morning guys. We are here at Lake Cassius in Washington State in the United States of America. And this was our final time while camping here in the US and Unfortunately, it wasn't a very peaceful night. I think the forest here is more like for recreation and motocross, boating and generators. But I won't let it tarnish my impression of camping in the US because apart from this place, it's been the most beautiful wild camping. We've just been going from amazing spot to amazing spot and all for free as well. It's just been so, so nice. Especially in our new tent, it was such a nice experience. And I really hope one day we can come back and just camp all over the place. Like, I think we need a year or something. There is so much to see here. So much amazing nature to camp in. But we have a really exciting day ahead. So let me show you where we're heading today. So we are here. And today we're going to be making our way over to the city of Seattle before turning north and heading over the Canadian border. Yes, today it's time to say goodbye to the USA and hello to Canada because we are heading to the Canadian border. But we have one stop before we get there because we have managed to find ourselves some new propeller blades for our broken drone. Good <sighs> Looks like we've lost a propeller blade here, here, <coughs> here, and <coughs> this one's broken as well. We were calling a lot of drone places and drone shops and asking if they had stock and if they could fix it for us. They were all like, well, it's a really old model. It's the Mavic Pro first generation. So they all said, well, we don't have this, you know, they're not manufacturing it. And then one of the guys said to us, why don't you just buy it on Amazon? Like there's tons on Amazon. And we were like, well, we don't have an address here, so it's gonna be really hard. And he said, no, you just post it to an Amazon post box. Oh, hello, good morning. <laughs> so we looked online and we found uh, one of these Amazon boxes um, in the town of Bellingham, which is just south of the border. It got delivered there yesterday. So we just need to go there, pick those up and then our drone is back in business. We also glued our Mavic Mini yesterday, so we're gonna try that out today and see if that's gonna work, if it's gonna fly, and if it does, then we're back with two drones again. Pfft, madness. We have a really exciting day ahead. We still have to pack up everything, and we have about a three hours ride. It's already 9.30, so better hit the road, let's go. So our 
arm gluing technique seems to have worked but I tried to power the drone on this morning and it is not it's coming on <laughs> I was just about to say that I couldn't get it on okay 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 we have to try and fly it Woo! Ah! Pinky is alive yes okay let's go film the lake So I just bring the bike sort of in a circle around and I pick you up over there. I hope I don't fall off and embarrass myself in front of all these motocross riders. Whee! Yes! Yeah, everything's kind of low right now, hey? Beautiful sunny day today, amazing! See you later! Let's do it! I'm all motocross fired up now, I'm like ready for the trails! Until we realise how big and heavy the bike is Yeah And then we have to quickly turn around or fall over Well, you can't really know with these spots, can you? I mean, when we arrived, there was like one or two other people there and it was pretty calm but you know after we'd set up and it started to get dark man truck after truck after truck started to arrive and each truck had like bikes or a boat or a trailer and then they brought out the chainsaws and oh my it was loads of stuff going on yeah loads of stuff everyone rocked up you know yeah from dust to dawn i mean you can't blame them that's fine we had our earplugs we had our sleeping masks we weren't going to get the most peaceful night but that's okay because now we're on the road and this is our last ride in the usa which is kind of sad actually yeah i'm sad as well because i absolutely loved riding in the usa so so nice This is where the mountains are at. And the pine forest. So unbelievably beautiful here. All this time you thought we'd never pay the price. In the game of love, you have to roll the dice. My heart got seven years to So we are down from the mountains now and we are making our way over to the great city of Seattle. This is actually like a little island, Mercer Island we are on. Oh, we are nice. at the moment on a little island. Yes, how cute! Yes, we can't see anything but I can see on the map and it looks really nice on the map. <laughs> <laughs> and all I can see on my Garmin is straight ahead Seattle, the city center. We're heading straight towards it. Well, that's going to be awesome. The bridge has pine trees on it. Wow, yeah, I can see it. Cool. Never seen a bridge with pine trees on it before. Look <laughs> at this bridge. Wow. Nice. Okay, I think that is the city over there. I can just about see some skyscrapers. Look how low the bridge is. Yeah, it's like only like five meters above sea level. Yeah. No way. No way. Why? Maybe it's floating. Maybe it is floating. I don't know, but <laughs> like we're literally 
only just above the sea. Uh, I mean, boats can't go like from right to left here, eh? Hey? No, I guess nothing can pass through here. Or maybe they pass through at the end, I don't know. Crazy. Seattle portal to the Pacific. There we go. Oh wow, look, we're coming right into it. Here it is. Wow. The city of Seattle. Yeah. Home of Nirvana, Death Cab for Cutie, and um, and Fraser. That's like the only three things I know from Seattle. It's like the two bands and the TV show. Wow. Yeah, we're gonna... Look at that. <laughs> that's like that's a cool ride. That's a cool ride. I mean, mountains are cool, but it's also cool sometimes to just ride straight through the city centers. We are in the center of Seattle. That's amazing. Wow. Beautiful. I like it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I've just got like Death Cab for Cutie in my head now. Sorrow drips into your heart through a pinhole, just like a faucet that leaks, and there is comfort in the sound. I don't know if any of you guys watching know Death Cab, but both Nirvana and Death Cab for Cutie are like, when I was growing up, they were like two of my favorite bands, and both of them came out of this beautiful city. So I had read before we came here that Seattle was like one of the most overcast cities, one of the most cloudy cities in the world. I think they said something like 80% of all days here are overcast and look <laughs> at the sky. <laughs> it was sunny everywhere else in America that we came through but we arrived over the mountains, got here to Seattle and look it's, it's grey. <laughs> You're not disappointing, Seattle. <laughs> no, it's exactly as I imagined. And anyway, you know, I come from the greyest island in the world. So, you know, Seattle is a home away from home for me. Look where we are. <laughs> Look what we have. <laughs> anyway, some people um, commented actually that we're losing some weight. So we thought going to Domino Pizzas will help us out with gaining some weight. <laughs> Plus it's actually quite cheap, $6.99 for a medium pizza, not bad. Bon appetitos! So we've just finished our pizza, I'm absolutely stuffed. But I realized when we were on the highway coming here that we just reached 31,000 miles on the road. But we couldn't dance on the highway, so we're going to dance here. <laughs> No, no, it's too much. Yes. That's very, very kind of you. Thank you so much. No, we can afford to stay in Canada. <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much. You can find us on YouTube or any online if you search online. Thank you so much. It's really kind of you. It was nice to meet you guys. Nice talking with you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Wow, so, so kind. That was Milt and Janet, and they were waiting for a pizza order as well next to us. And Milt just started asking about our trip and uh, we, you know we we're just telling him and he said oh it must be really expensive and we were like yeah you have no <laughs> idea it's really expensive and then he just gets out a hundred dollar bill and gives it to us and it's like this is for you guys wow so kind wow so unbelievably kind and yeah we need it actually desperately because the shipping is so expensive so thank you so much really is thank you so much yeah milton janet what lovely lovely people and janet said to us i hope everybody in america was polite to you <laughs> 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 oh my god, that's amazing. No. And they said they've been married for 60 years. Wow. 60 years. And then I said, well, we've been married two weeks. <laughs> anyway, Milt's advice for us, or for me, know where to draw the battle line, <laughs> which is mostly uh, in your territory. <laughs> Good advice. So now we have full bellies and we are heading back on the road and we are heading to the town of Bellingham where our Mavic Pro propellers that we ordered on Amazon are waiting for us. So we'll head there now and go and grab those. 
and then head to the border but look how lovely the surroundings here are like every house looks so unique and cute and now we've left seattle the clouds can disappear as well you <laughs> see as soon as you leave seattle that's it you're back to blue skies again <laughs> it's like they just hang around the city it's just how it is hey that's how it is yeah All right, we've arrived here in Bellingham, one of the most northerly towns in Washington state. We are very close to the border now, hey? Yes. Like less than an hour. We're nearly in Canada, baby. So, I don't know what to do. Um, let's have a look. Your stuff is ready at Amazon Hub Counter, Bellingham Whole Foods. Yep, I'm here. Your stuff is ready at the counter. Show this barcode, okay? All right, I'm gonna go show the barcode. Okay. Oh, pick up. Ah, oh, yes, that's probably it. Good afternoon. Barcode. Thank you so much. No well, there you go. Easy as that. Thank you so much. Would you look at that? Who needs an address, hey? Uh -huh. Woo! That's the stuff right there. Let's see if it's real. Hey. hey. Ah, it's Christmas. Christmas morning, hey? Hey! Oh, would you look at that? And... Way. Whoa, low noise, quick release propellers, DJI mm. Mavic. That is amazing. Yeah. Oh, okay, we're going to install those later. And then I think our drones are back in action. Mm. Woo! All right, all our US missions have been accomplished. Now it's just 25 miles and we'll be at the Canadian border. This has got to be one of the more pleasant border crossings that I've been to. This is the town of Blaine. And look, we are right here on the ocean, on the Pacific Ocean. Look at that. Wow, it's so incredibly beautiful here and nice and calm and just, yeah, perfect. Yeah, look at this for a border crossing. It's yeah. like Peace Arch State Park. There's a nice park. There's flowers. It's green. It's a beautiful sunny day. I don't know which lane I've got to be in. What does that say? Only lane nexus. What does that mean? No idea. And that's the Peace Arch there, hey? Built in 1914 to celebrate the fact that the US and Canada are brothers. This is one of those road borders, so we don't even have to get off the bike. We yeah, but I think I still have to get our passports, hey? Oh yeah, you have to get off the bike. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think there's a US checkpoint. I think it's literally like everything's done in this one little booth and we just drive in and it's done. After all these border crossings we've done, it'd be nice to have one which is just... Easy. Give the passport, thank you, good day, on we go. <laughs> Normally I was gonna skip, but you know, all these cars are watching and stuff and I feel like let's just wait. Yeah, I mean, I, I think the people in America, they're really polite and not skipping actually. Wait, let me see these guys. Oh yeah, let's see what they're doing. There's some tourists coming yeah. through. Yeah. Ah, they're waiting, look. Ah, they're waiting, There hey? you go. Mm. Um, because it's Canada, look, there's like um, French and English. So it says, oh. open, ouvert. Nice. Closed, fermé. <laughs> yeah, and there's the big old maple leaf up on the flag there. Raw or cooked meat, eggs, dairy products, fruit, vegetables, seeds, nuts, flowers, insects, plants, wood, live animals or any plant parts. Do we have any of those? Hello, how's it going? Oh uh, yeah. Okay, where is home? Uh, UK. Did you import the bike as well? Uh, yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. We brought it over, yeah. Okay, how did you do that? Uh, in a container. Wow. Yeah. You must have had to time everything. Really oh, rough. it's, yeah, logistically, it's pretty tough and expensive. Yeah. yeah. We'll actually fly it out from uh, Vancouver here yeah. to, to South Korea. While well, you're going there next. Yes, yeah. exactly. And then we'll arrive back home, hopefully. <laughs> good for you guys. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks Thank so, you much. so much. Thank you. See you later.
easiest border crossing we've ever done by far the quickest easiest oh my god that was easy <laughs> that was so easy and so nice enjoy canada see you later all done wow that's great yeah but here we are we're in canada country number 22 yeah another journey around the world Woo! i'm so yes. excited <laughs> nice Woo! so glad that we made it here and we made it here in time for our shipping to bring bumblebee from vancouver to seoul south korea the day after tomorrow yes bumblebee goes and we go this week as well yes gonna be a crazy time ahead i can tell you that wow a busy time but an absolutely crazy time and i can't wait so for now we're heading to a small rv park just outside of vancouver and uh, we're gonna clean up bumblebee we're gonna do some laundry and have a shower which is so needed as well <laughs> finally a shower and then we can have a good rest and the day off tomorrow it's gonna be awesome yes first day off Woo! <laughs> And look here, the speed limit is in kilometers an hour again. I was enjoying it in the US because the speedometer that we've got on the bike is in miles an hour. And I was quite happy with the fact that it was like miles and miles. It was too easy. <laughs> and now again, I have to convert kilometers into miles. We're back in the metric system now. You! <laughs> You're happy about that. <laughs> yes, I am. So this area is called Sawasen and it's a First Nations territory and I think our RV resort is just here. All right, let's go find ourselves a nice spot. Good evening guys, we made it, have been alive. Whee! Oh yes, and this place is really, really nice and peaceful. Look at this view in front of us. Everything is nice and green and there's flowers and it's peaceful and a really nice vibe here and there's no other people camping either we're just like alone here in the camping area so we've got like one picnic bench over there to us one picnic bench on the other side of us it's pretty luxury for um 40 canadian dollars which is like 25 pounds so we have two days now where we can just sleep and rest and get new energy yeah and go swim in the pool which we have which is awesome and apparently it's heated which is really nice <laughs> but crazy because we had our last real ride here in north america in two days we will ship the bike over to asia so that means goodbye north america goodbye central america goodbye south america wow it's like the whole like continent the whole we just say goodbye you know it's we've only got to go from here to the mm -hmm. airport which is mm -hmm. like 30 minutes or something and that's it yeah. then we'll be done with this entire continent yeah oh my god yeah so we definitely have to come back and see more of canada see alaska <laughs> and see more of the us there's always more to see but yeah. uh, we made it here and i can't believe it for this journey we have to continue and we have to move to south korea now <laughs> but for now i am gonna ride off to walmart and get us something tasty for dinner because there's a walmart like Five minutes from here yes and that's it from us today we hope you enjoyed the video if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and family comment below and if you really 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 like our videos you can join us on patreon the link is in the description below we will have a shower now and see you next time so I have been to Walmart and we have gone all out on this dinner. Have a look at this. A really nice camping dinner. So we have vegetarian sausages, zucchini and mashed potatoes. How was it? Mm, the best. Oh, that's amazing. Uh -huh. And also when we were in Flagstaff, the motel owner that we stayed at the night before we went to the expo gave us a beer that is made in Flagstaff. It's called Lumberyard Brewing Company and this is First Light Lager. I said to him, oh, it's okay. We aren't really drinking whilst we're on the road, whilst we're riding along. And he's like, no, 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 take it, take it. You've got to try this beer. And so I was like, okay, we'll take it. We didn't drink it all the way, but now we're here in Canada. We have made it here. We're not moving tomorrow. <laughs> I think it's time to open the First Light Lager. Made in Flagstaff, Arizona. It was like warm and cold, warm and cold. It was shaking around. <laughs> and so. shaken so much. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Delicious. Not bad at all. <laughs> we have made it.
We're in Canada. 